Good evening and welcome back to my channel. And so this is the final video on the uh, Revell F4G. Um, I've kind of talked about this kit a bit and you know the process. So this was a it was an entertaining video series for me to do. I uh, learned a lot about you know showing what I do, and I learned a lot about you know some of the techniques that I. Um, I'm, I'm unfamiliar with, you know, being being somewhat new to trying to do this stuff right. Um, I had the last bit, you know, I've, I've whined about little things here and there about this kit. The one thing that I hadn't mentioned was challenges with the canopy. Um, the This piece here and this piece here did not fit well. I took some creative work to get to fit. They were misshapen. Um, I did try to reform them a little bit and had some challenges, but I got I got things to work and you know for for my purposes I'm content. Um, they're 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 not bad. Um, I am happiest with the weathering that I've been able to do, especially with the the oil work, which is you know a new process for me. And I feel excuse me one second. Let me go ahead and try and fix the lighting here so we have something a little bit better. When I move this, here we go. Let's try that. Let's see if that works better. So again, you know, I'm not the greatest when it comes to you know filming either, as you can see. Um, making the model dirty and getting it scrubbed up and scruffy was uh, um, something I was I was content about. I think I, I'd like to clean up this these tags a little bit more. Um, they're a little bit not quite what I'm after, but. Um, they're close, they're close. Um, I have a pretty decent decent start on the underside. You know, I, I imagine there's there's some more techniques I can learn um, to do that better, but for a first attempt at this kind of a kit, I'm not I'm not too terribly unhappy with it. Um, the camo was fun to do, the model you know, the model was good. It was, there are minor little fiddly things that I, I whined about, you know, throughout, but, uh, you know, overall it was a, it was a good kit. Um, you know, if you're patient and you've got some skills, you can, you can work with it. So there really wasn't anything that was really worth being too terribly whiny about. It was worth what was paid for it, which wasn't, you know, too terribly much. Um, I love the color scheme. I love the way this model looks and I am, a fan of the of the subject so you know this will I will look, have this on my shelf and be somewhat content with it um I could probably sit here and go on and on about the things that I was that I feel like I could do better um although you know um I, I'm sure all of you who are looking at this are <laughs> quite aware but or can you know, point out things but the I was happy with learning how to do some of these oil weathering and, and the way that worked out. Um, the the scheme looks good. Um, I, there's a, a better way to mask, and uh, so the the way the camo was put down. Um, the uh, uh, I need to find a way to get the airbrush to work better, and that that's really the short version of the point. Of, of that issue there. Um, the airbrush wasn't working well, so the layers of paint went down a little thicker than I wanted, so I had, I have, have you know, lines at the layers that I didn't want to hit be there. But that's, again, a learning curve, so, um, yeah, I can only show so much with, I don't have a nice little turny, roundy thing that, that some folks have, a little spinny thing, but, I can show you this, and I will take a few pictures for what it's worth, um, and post them here at the end. Uh, yeah, so I did not, so as it's probably obvious, um, I have the drop tanks on, but I did not put the ordnance on. Um, and that is the last little quibble that I'm going to mention about the kit. Um, and this is, again, me more than anything else. Um, the instruction kit or the instruction sheet does not tell you where um, the ordinance goes. So you are told how to build the ordinance and you're told what to, you know, 
what, what mounts to put them on for the hard points and so forth. But they don't tell you where they go. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit more research on the ordinance um, and, and figure out how all that goes. And at some point, at a later date, um, I'll finish. You know, the ordinance is mostly together. I just need to mount it properly on the hard points and then put the hard points under the wing. Um, so those are coming. Those will be, you know, to, you know, in the future, which is, you know, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video series and move on to the next one. Um, you know, as, as many of you are aware, or, you know, the three of you that actually pay attention to this channel in any, any length, um, you know, I kind of have three or four projects going at once. This was a very fun project. Oops, and I apologize for that. This is a very fun project to do. I enjoyed it. Um, I recommend this kit. So, you know, for, for those who were, are a fan of the F4, especially the F4G, I do recommend this kit. I am um, tempted to pick up a kit of the F4D uh, just because it's, you know, the, the look of it is a little bit different and it's a little more accurate to um, the subject that I, I, I am interested in. Um, although I am likely to probably try out, um, you know, for if I do another one 30 second scale or whatever um, aircraft, it, I may give uh, her sister plane, the F-14, a, a try, but for now. Um, yeah, yeah, so there we go. Thank you very much. I, I hope uh, this inspires you, you know, watching me sort of fumble and fiddle through the, the techniques and, and what I do to get to this point. Um, I hope this is you know, sufficiently decent of a result to encourage folks to try some new things. Um, yeah, and I, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten some feedback from, from people who've watched the videos. So I do appreciate that. Those, you know, they're always welcome. It's a, I am really, uh, I enjoy positive, encouraging suggestions, you know, lots of things to learn. So I appreciate your time. I hope this uh, was entertaining to watch. It was certainly entertaining for me to do. Um, and I am, you know, content with the subject. It, it, it uh, makes me happy. Um, it, it's a fun thing to have and it will, I will be content with it sitting on my shelf. So, and, and it's, you know, definitely inspired me to try some more. So again, I, I'll throw up a couple of pictures here at the end. Uh, and uh, until the next series or the next video, I will say good luck. I hope you enjoy modeling and uh, go out and grab a kid of your own and have fun building it. So thank you very much.